Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem. So, it is our first week where we get to choose what we're doing. We can choose absolutely anything. But first thing we're going to do is certifications after I save, because I forgot to save. But it did save at the start of this one. Anyway, certifications. So certifications are basically getting classes for our characters. Now, only one of our characters can actually get a class right now. It's us. And I believe you have to be level 5. So, we have two classes to choose from. We have Mere Midon, especially Swift, with high avoidance. The Myrmidon definitely wields the sword. That does sound like us, or Fighter. Proficient with the axe, the bow, and gauntlets. The Fighter has high strength that translates to mighty blows. Now, it seems like we're likely to fail this one, if we go for it. It is 65% chance passing, although it does say you need to have one of these things to be higher Right, with axe, bow, and brawl. Hmm. Or maybe if your odds are too low, it won't let you take it. Maybe your odds have to be above 50% to take one of these ones. I think um, Myrmidon seems like the best option for us. It's a sword wielder. Kind of fits us. Let's, let's lean into it. And it's a 100% chance of success, so... You know. It seems like something we should do. So we have a new class. Look at that. A new path to tread. Yes, I would like to change from the current class into the newly certified class. So, if we have a look at that class now. Um, can we look at it here? Um, there is somewhere where you can check this, what I want to check. Oh, we can also see what crests do, which we should have a look at at some point. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't really where I'm wanting to go. Oh, if I go status, classes, there we go. Details, this one. Hmm, I'm sure classes come with stats, but I don't know what the stats are for this one. Or what the benefits were for it. Oh, but, oh there we go, skill experience bonus, that's what I was looking for. So we get plus one in sword skill when we, tr when we train with that. Cool, so that seems very good for us. I should probably look into what classes I want other people to be, and then get them their goals lined up with that. Let's maybe do that first. So, Claude. I'm thinking Claude. Well, I don't know. Probably a fighter, initially. So we're looking for Bo is his main one. He already has that. And then after that, for Claude, I'm thinking I do want to just make him a bow master. Let's see what we got. I, I guess I'm getting his right... Uh, I want to... Maybe get his writing up, but let's have a look here. Uh, an intermediate. Which one do I want him to get? Oh, there's one called Lord. A noble and powerful leader. This class excels at wielding a sword and has a high de degree of authority. Well, that's maybe not what I want him to be. Archer, I think would be a good one for him. Oh, he just needs bow. Yeah. Alright, so I guess we're going Archer. So he's all about the bow. And then advanced level. Uh, there might not be one for him at advanced level. Assassin, maybe? Maybe we could turn him into an assassin. A killer who thrives in the shadows. The assassin has excellent speed and dexterity. I kind of like that idea, actually. We could also turn him into a sniper. A master of the bow with high dex. But I like the assassin idea. It sounds cool. So maybe I want to push him into sword and bow. It's got a higher sword, but it does need bow. Maybe I'll push him into being an assassin. I don't know. Maybe maybe there's other things for him to be, but let's let's change. Can I change the goals in here? Yeah. So Claude, uh, I'm actually gonna change it to a custom focus where it is bow and sword. I want to push him into that. And also with sword, if we train him in sword, that will help him out overall. And there's uh. Yeah, that that will help him because we're good at swords, so that will push him further, that make it more effective. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so we'll try that with him. Uh, can I, is there a better place to look at these things here? So if I go in here, is there a way of looking at it? I can go classes like that. Okay, that works. So Lorenz, he's currently got, can I see what they're good at in here as well? Uh, if I go to skills, yeah. 
So he's good at reason, lance, and riding. So I really want him to be good with lance and riding. That does seem like a good two for him, and we are boosting up his riding. He, we are boosting his reason right now, though. Did He didn't have a special um, thing, though, did he? No, he doesn't have a uh, budding talent yet. So I reckon that we probably want to... Yeah, Lance and Riding seem like the obvious two for him, him right now. So let's put those two on from Lance, Riding. And for that, I believe there is a class for Lance and Riding. Yeah, in the intermediate one, there is the Cavalier, Lance, Riding. And then I believe in the advance, there's also the Paladin, which is Lance and Riding. So that just seems straightforward for him. Raphael, right, so he's starting off probably... Well, uh, he's probably going to be a fighter. Yeah. After fighter, I do want him to punch people. That's something I like. Maybe armored knight could be good. I don't know. Uh, oh no, brawler. Definitely. So he needs brawl. Okay. And then beyond that... Is there anything that uses brawl higher up? Oh, grappler. Yeah, okay, so more brawl. So he really just needs brawl. Um, that's fine. Did he have a budding, budding talent? He does not have a budding talent. So, I think just Brawl right now seems good for it. That will last him for a long while. He doesn't really need Axe. Did he have a 100% chance of passing the, um, fighter exam? Yeah. So he doesn't need Axe. So, I'm gonna go for him having just Brawl. Maybe authority could be good, as that means we can get him a better battalion. I'm going to go for none right now. We're going to just brawl, which I believe will increase the skill thing here. Yeah, that will just push brawl up a lot. Ignatz? Now, I'm going to make him a sniper. That's what I've decided for him. So he's going... To, and he doesn't have a special one either, I believe. He doesn't have a... Bud he does have a, his budding talent in reason. It doesn't matter, we don't need to level it. I'm gonna make him a sniper. Yeah. We we can train it, but we're gonna go full on bow focus for that one. Yeah. Lysithia does not have a budding talent. Oh, she has a budding talent and sword. Yeah, okay. Sword reason? Okay. There's some interesting stuff we could do with her. I don't know. Is there a sword and reason class? So if I go into classes here, obviously the first one she's going to be is a monk, uses magic. Then she's probably going to be a mage as the next level. Yeah. Then the level after that, a warlock probably. So right now I'm just seeing reason is the only thing we need on her. So they've got a reason and authority. I'm just going to boost up Reason. I only want the main stat right now. We can always change these later, but I want to be ready for the main stats. With Mary Marianne, as a budding talent in Lance, but is using Faith. Okay. Class-wise, for her... Um... Well, I think first level, she's going to be a monk. Level after, if she's going to be her healer, she's going to go into Priest. Then the level after that, Bishop, right? Yeah, that would make sense. So she's all about faith. So I'm actually going to get her to just go for faith right now. Yeah. Okay. It is worth setting these up. And once we set them up once, we never have to set them up again. So, well, unless we get someone new in, in here. Hilda, she's got an axe. So she's going fighter, right? Yeah, she's going fighter. Then, with Axe, I guess she could go Armored Knight. She doesn't have any heavy armor skill. What else uses Axe? Brigand? Frontline Combatants? Yeah, she'd be a Brigand. Then with Axe, afterwards, she would be a... Wyvern Rider? Yeah, I guess she'd be a Wyvern Rider. Or Warrior. High health and unmatched strength. I actually like the sound of that. I'm not going to have a lot of people riding. Hmm. At least the ones that I have right now. Let's go with, um... Let's go with Axe. 
axe. Yeah. Because he's all about axe now. Then Leone, right at the end here, she's good with la- Oh, also, what was her budding talent? Heavy armor. Oh, maybe I do want her to be a fortress knight. Yeah, maybe I'll go axe and heavy armor. Maybe I switch her up to being, like, fortress knight. Okay. Yeah, okay. And then Leone. Leone, um, she has no budding talents. She's good with the lance and riding. So I'm feeling that I'm going to make her into some kind of paladinly type person. So we'll go lance riding on her as well and see where that leads. Good. So they're all set up now. Right. Do a save as well so I don't have to do that again. That's good. We have no supports currently. So I guess it's time to do our exploration. Yes. Mission assistance. Ask for help from a student outside your house and that person will join you for battles and missions until the end of the month. You can only ask one student for help each month and that student will not earn any experience. Okay. We can definitely do that. Um. Oh, hello. You have spent quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste? Um, I should have listened more intently. You must try harder from now on. Yeah, I'm going to talk to everyone still. Uh, so we're bolstering forces. Is your battalion strong enough, says Yuritsa. Lost and found. Have you seen my missing item? If so, let me know, says Geralt. Learning from the past. Academy staff faculty training begins this month. In words of wisdom. Those with problems they don't wish to discuss uh, publicly are encouraged to seek guidance in the cathedral. Okay. So which way are we going to start? Ooh, item. Almond blend. We're going to start going this way. And just see if anything's over here. So, anybody up this side? Nope. Any items up this side? Nope. Uh, let's start in the training area then, I guess. Yeah, the training grounds. First one we've come to. Catherine. Impressive. Hello. Here to train? You really are as hardworking as they say. Uh, that's right, I'm a force of nature. Huh, maybe the gossip's wrong. Hardworking people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. Oh. Well, I get the feeling we got off on the wrong foot there. Tattered overcoat. An overcoat with many holes and tears. It probably belongs to someone who often finds himself in fights. A wooden button. Probably belongs to someone with a large physique. Well, that's Raphael. Come to think of it. Felix, hello. Catherine, hmm? Her skill is impressive, I'll admit. So is her sword. But I think she's hiding something. Nobody knows anything about her past. You should spar with her. She's strong. Stronger than you are, I'd bet. Okay. So I could um, get mission assistance from her. I could also try and recruit him. I'll hold off for just now, but we might try that. Lord Lonato must know that his efforts are futile, yet he can't help but fight. If I were in that situation, I would do whatever it took to ensure victory. You can count on that. Something about this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? I don't know, a distraction or he has something we don't know about? Hmm. I say I'm going to try and recruit Felix. Felix? You should spar with her. Welcome to the team. Join me for some training sometime. I'm interested in your sword technique. I might like to become your student someday. But not today. Oh no! Speed and sword. We're not there yet. Catherine? Here to train? Just checking? No, we don't have anything. But I assume we'll have some with Catherine after we've spoken to Manuela. About the uh, faculty training. Leone, hello. I'm studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top-tier mercenary professor? Yes. That depends on how hard you work. I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here, I can tell you that. Yeah, you do that. Okay, no items along this side. Well, time to check each of the classrooms, see if anyone's in there. We have Ferdinand. Goodness. Hello. I heard about your class's assignment, by the way. Good luck subduing those treasonous nobles. Do you want to join me? 
Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? Well, that sounds the like a no there. Okay. I'm assuming everyone's a no actually this month. I'll just try not. I'll not recruit them this month. Uh, this one? Ah. We have Claude. Uh, hello, Claude. First that bandit business, and now a noble rebellion? Are we ever going to do anything but find and subdue people? Well, if we're just going to tie up loose ends, at least it'll be pretty safe. I don't mind stretching my legs for this one. And if Catherine's going too, there's a good chance we'll get a look at her relic in action. Ooh. Her relic. We haven't heard that before. Ooh, what's that? Top fishing spots. Nice. We got some more of that stuff. I wonder how many activity points. We get three this month. Hmm, nice. I forgot to check here for items, so that's where I am. Uh, right. Oh, yes, one thing I did want to check out in our roster is apparently we can see what crests do. We can't see what ours does, obviously, because we it's a mystery crest. But we can see what others do. So with Claude's, um, sometimes restores HP equal to 30% of damage dealt when using combat arts. That's really good. Gloucester raises might during magic attack. Might during magic attacks? He doesn't have magic. Well, maybe we might want to give him magic. Nothing on either of those. Oh, she has two. She has the Gloucester one. And she has the Charon one. Might when using combat arts. So she gets both benefits. Hmm. Mystery Crest, Marianne. Uh-huh. Hilda has one that allows combat arts to sometimes prevent enemy counterattacks. That's a nice one. Leonie doesn't have one. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So we've checked out that place. I don't see any items over here, but we'll do another sweep around the back just to be sure. Don't see any items. Okay. So here we go right. I know we're just kind of getting into a habit, but that's good. Because then we don't miss any of these bits of tea and smithing stones. Actually, they were here last month as well, the same place. Hmm. Well. Okay. Nothing either side. That set F that I saw in front of us. Ooh! Item. Hand drawn map. A practical map of the forest made by Gerald. It probably belongs to someone who has known Gerald for a long time. Leone? Well, no. She hasn't really known him a long time. Maybe Rhea? Hmm. I don't know. Leone would be the Hello. first thing that came to my mind, but Rhea's had oh. known him. Oh, Aloise has known him for a long time. Potentially. Bernadetta? Hello. Uh, I just wanted to say hello. Uh, that's fine, I can go. Oh, can't go down that way. Right. right. Uh, down here we have Raphael, hello. Hey, Professor, do you happen to have any food on you? I'm starving. No matter how much I eat before I train, I'm always so hungry after. My muscles must be going through a growth spurt. Yeah, sure. That's what you want to tell yourself? Um, ooh, dormitory floor two. We haven't been there yet. It's a new area, which means that we don't get a cutscene for the dormitory floor two. Okay, Ingrid's room. Now we can just go into everyone's room. Just inspect. Marianne's room looks very much like Ingrid's room. Next one, we have Hilda's room. Again, looks very similar. Ooh, uh, Edelgard's room has some flowers in it. And is a bit red. Okay. This one also has red. This is Hubert's room. Well, it makes sense it's similar to Edelgard's. In here, we have Caspar's room. Also red. I'm guessing it's just red if you're in their house. Yeah, there's Ferdinand's room. Monk, hello. Next month is when a very important ceremony will be taking place at the monastery. P 
Pilgrims from all corners of Fodlan have already started to gather in anticipation. I pray that you are able to nip this trouble in the bud as soon as possible. I'll try my best. Nothing's in Lorenz's room. No. Oh, Claude's room is a complete and utter mess. I love it. Right. We then have... Felix's room. Very tidy. Very blue. Dimitri's room. He's got an extra blanket over there, hasn't he? Compared to uh, Felix. Or am I wrong? He has got an extra blanket. Ah, huh, okay. Or an extra sheet. And then we have Sylvain's room. Alright, well, Professor. it's good that we did that inspection. Um, let's head back to where... We, well, I'll just run, run along... Well, okay, I'll go back to where we were. I didn't realize how far away it was. Um, so we got here next to the greenhouse. Let's fast travel to the greenhouse. Where we have Petra Inspirational. and Flame. This flower is one that is eating insects. Is that factual too? I am wondering who watches over the plants in Fodlin. Hmm. Okay. Hello. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? It is so. I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? Sure. I guess, in a way. Oh, seeds. Nice. Hello. I would like to harvest my seeds. Nice. We got a little pomegranate. What's that do? Hmm. We can now plant. We have some more plums. We can plant two lots. Let's go for two lots of plums. I don't know whether that... If I mix and match, does it tell me if they're good or not? I don't know. Let's go for two lots of plums. Sure. Why not? I'm then going to cultivate them. I'm going to prune them. Nice. So that should give us a lot of yield from those. And then if I go into my inventory, we now have this pomegranate, which... What's it do? Uh, details. Increases dexterity by one. Yeah. You know what? We'll use it. Um, use. Our dexterity has increased by one. Now if I go and have a look at what... I just want to double check what dex does, because I do kind of remember, but at the same time, I would like to know. Hit rate, critical hits. Yeah, so it makes us hit more. That seems good. Right. Uh, we'll head over this way. We're not doing fishing this month, although we can pick up a few fish here. Nice. Um, I don't see any more items around here. Okay. So now we run along this way, continuing to check for items along here. More items. We run right up to the marketplace, but don't go in. Oh, there's Yuritsa. Hello. What? I desired fresh air. Well, the wind feels nice. <laughs> you got a quest for me? I have a favor to ask. There is solitude on the battlefield, but there are limits to what one can achieve alone. To be stronger, more efficient, visit the battalion guild. Sure. So now we can buy more battalions, I guess. Ooh, an item. Nice. Poultry. Good. Nothing over here, nothing over there. Right. In we go. We got a lot of people to speak to. Let's start with Seta. If you have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward Flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No. If you do see anyone getting too close with Flame, please inform me of it at once. I wonder if that's because what we did in the previous month where I accidentally... Imp imp well, I accidentally said that. Or flirted with Flane. Anyway. It, w it was unintentional. I just asked where she was staying. Right. Uh, hello, Hanuman. I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. 
You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? Yes. That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three second rule. Ugh. Yeah, I know. But, whatever. Uh, Casper. Ah, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Um, well, when you're busy, there's no alternative. Absolutely! I knew you'd see things my way. Cool. Lindhart? Professor, I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. Uh-huh. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. Wow, that sounds unhealthy. Hence my mentioning it to you. Good luck with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not my problem. He's not my house. Yet. Um, so if we head out... Th There's an item I just ran straight past. School of Sorcery book. Kingdom School of Sorcery probably belongs to someone who went to that school. Hmm. Okay. Nothing in here. Check around the back. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. Right. Now we'll go into the hall area here. Check that we're clear, and this leads up to the off... Right, we've already been to the academy bit. That's fine. Now check this garden. Which is also right, right. mostly clear, apart from Sylvain apparently somewhere. It must be in the other area. Yeah, so we're clear here. Now back into the, this bit. Been to the other side. Let's head into the hall. Knight of Saros. I hear that Lord Lenato served the King of Fargus' older brother when he was younger. Or something like that. He already had status and prestige. So why raise a rebellion? Good eh, question. I guess it's none of my business. Well, I mean, you're going to go fight, so maybe you might want to care, but I guess not. It's fine. Uh, we'll head down here towards the marketplace. Mm. Don't see anyone else along here. Let's head into the marketplace. Right. Oh, Hilda, hello. Professor, your clothes are a bit dirty. If you don't pay attention to your hygiene, the girls won't like you. I hate when my clothes get dirty. That's one of the many reasons I find it best to train as little as possible. Yeah, one of the many reasons. Right, battalion, one over what here. What do you require? Well, I just want to Thank speak you. to you. Yeah, you went to Battalion Guild to track how your battalion and those of others are faring, although solitude is the true battle. So, we get a bunch of stuff, including a steel At lance. At Battalion Guild, you can meet battalions that aren't affiliated with the Church of Saros. We're allowed to hire those folks, too, so be sure to visit the Guild later to check it out. Naturally, battalions will lose endurance as they fight. You can replenish battalion endurance by visiting the Battalion Guild in the market. Okay. What um, do you require? So, if I wanted to hire ones, I could say, hey, I need to hire some here, and then I could hire them, but they need a certain level of authority to use. Okay. Um, so, is there... So, I guess, ideally, you want everyone to have these. So, it just depends on what we want to end up with. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Well, how much do each battalion cost? They cost like 1,200. They're a bit expensive right now for us to buy. Might replenish your battalions. How much do those cost? Cost 61 to replenish, uh, to replenish all. Let's do it. Yeah. That seems worth it. Buying new ones well. seems a little expensive right now. Okay. Uh, and we can buy new items, but we don't need to. Hello. Since we're heading to Castle Gaspar, that means we'll be passing through Magdred Way. The road is well known for its beautiful surroundings. Depending on the time of year, it can be incredibly foggy, though. When it's like that, you can't enjoy the lovely scenery. Lucky for us, it shouldn't be too foggy while we're there. Not that we'll have time for sightseeing, anyway. 
Well, make up your mind. Will we have time for sightseeing or not? What? Hello. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Have you talked with Catherine yet? <laughs> if the knights are the cream of the crop, she's the cream of the cream. Oh, and that relic of hers. I hear it's nothing short of amazing. Well, I have to get a look at this relic at some point. Everyone's talking about it. Just checking the corner there. Nothing either side here. Ooh, I'm allowed into the stable area. Oh, yeah, of course. We've got to have the scenic view of the stables. Very impressive. Marianne, hello. Oh, hello, Professor. Um, was there something you needed? Well, I came to see the horses. Oh, you like horses? I like them too. They're such kind creatures. All right. Well, you enjoy staying here then. I will move on. Right, what else have we got? So over this way, oh, this leads back into the gardens. I'm gonna need to get a new route. Oh, Sylvain's here, right? Yeah, hello. About... Hey, professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. He's at the training grounds, as always. Yeah, I saw him at the training ground. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Well, good. Glad we got that sorted. Ah, item. A blowfly and... Ooh, some top quality seeds. Shame I've already planted mine for the uh, month, but that's okay. Well, I could always explore again, but I haven't done that yet, so we shouldn't assume that we'll do that. So there's the stables. Can't go that way. Uh, this guy just says, I don't trust the Western Church. Oh, okay then. Uh... Well, we've got an owl and a night's hall. Nobody's here? Oh, there we go. We have Dedu and we have Dimitri. Hello, Dedu. Best be on your guard. Okay. That, that's it. Uh, you're a man of few words. Let's Hello. see. After Fargus lost its king, there were many rebellions. It is likely that Lord Lenato's provocations are related. How frustrating that I am too young to take the throne. Rendered powerless by age. If the throne is vacant much longer, the kingdom will fall to ruin. Hmm. Yeah, he does seem to be worrying quite a lot about that. I guess it makes sense. It is his kingdom. Well, it will be his kingdom. Um, what's over there? I'm just checking each side here as we walk. We're not allowed down there. Hello, Lorenz. It is a noble's duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. Abuse of that kind is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? I agree. Precisely why true nobility is well respected. That's all he wants to hear. I agree. Yep, he, he doesn't actually want my input. He just wants yeah. someone to echo his. Catherine has invited me to train with her. You must be very excited. How much do you think I should train before I'm ready to train with someone that strong? I don't know. I assume that you're ready because right. she asked you. Ugh. I don't know. Seems logical. A moment, please. I'm not allowed over there. I'm allowed over here. That doesn't really get me anywhere. Okay. Mm. It's been all the way down there. I'm trying to look at our map here. So we're at Knight's Hall right now. So I want to run back into the center. No, I want to run back into the center here. Oh, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Run in. And then there's a quest here. Hello, Mercedes. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor. You were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. You got a quest? I have a favor to ask of you. Those who struggle with pr private 
concerns will sometimes visit the cathedral for guidance. If you have time, why not offer them your keen insight, Professor? Okay. Hello. To be honest, I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. At a loss for what to do. Thankfully, a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she's Sedith's little sister. Plain. Yes. Actually, now I think about it, Mercedes. I, whispers, why would Sedith I would like a your assistance in the month ahead. Yes. So the reason I want her assistance is because obviously they don't get experience, these people. And if they do damage or kill, they're stealing our experience. If she heals, she's not really stealing experience because we only have five heals already. So that's why I think a healer is the best one to have. Best pest practices. A list of different pests, uh, different pests that target plants during cultivation, complete with methods for eradication of each. You wouldn't want to be a bug in this greenhouse, that's for sure. Ooh, it's more professor level. So we've been this way. Yeah, that's where Sylvain is. Been this way, because that's where the, yeah, okay. That's where the room, the uh, classrooms are. Leather bow is sheath. Seems something like seems like something Claude would own. Some of these are more tough than others, these items for who okay, owns them. Professor. Dorothea, hello. Are you going to fight alongside the Knights of Saros? Sure. Hmm. Let me know if you meet anyone I might be interested in, okay? Okay. Right. Hello. Uh along here. So that's the way to the cathedral. Second floor. We've been out that way. Yep. And we started this Hello. way. I think. Yes, we started that way. So I'm going to go to the cathedral first. Where we have right. Ingrid. Hello. Here's the we are truly blessed with how fertile the monastery grounds are. Every day, there's something new to harvest. Nice. Ooh, and we have our new thing in here. Hey, so if I speed along to the left, we have the counselor. Hello, Counselor. Would you like to read a note from the advice box? Yes. Each month, people will approach the Counselor with their concerns. Select responses that satisfy them and your support points will increase. I'm an only child. Because of this, I'm worried that my parents will have to adopt a child to do the best to have another of their own if I don't carry on a family title. Um... What you seek is more important than a title? I don't know who it is. I'm trying to figure that out. Oh. Ah. Thank you so much for your help. Yeah, I should have told him to relax. I didn't know who it was though. I couldn't figure out from the silhouette. Okay. Resolving other people's problems are are difficult. Is difficult. You may find be able to figure out what they're at. You may be able to figure out what they're seeking if you become close enough to spend time alone with them. Yeah, well, I just couldn't figure out who it was, okay? And we got... M oh, there's two more. Well, I really want another shot at this. Manuel? Lately I find myself growing tired and out of practice. I wish there was someone around here with whom I could dance fervently and intensely. Is that Manuel? Dorothea? Ah, she liked it. Good. Another note. I have some experience painting landscapes and I'd like to try my hand at portraiture. Can you think of anyone who'd be a model for me? Well, this is Ignatz. Bernadette would not like to do it. Manuela would be open. Or Raphael. Man he wants Raphael, yeah. To be his model, right? Manuel was the answer. I was thinking he maybe wanted somebody he was more friends with so that it would be more of a, uh, you know, he'd be more relaxed, but I don't know. Maybe not. Hey, Ash. What's going to happen to Lenato? If he's killed, I I don't know how I'll live with that. Well, just feel bad for him there. Won't we'll give him a hug. Okay, over here, monk. Maybe Lord Lenato. He used to stay at the monastery rather frequently. He was such a pious man, a true believer. Well, maybe that's why he declared a war. Again, maybe he believes the people in charge aren't. Such a terrible shame. I wonder what changed him. 
Or maybe he believes that the church is, is corrupted somehow. I don't know. These are just my guesses. I actually, I have no idea. Um, Professor. along here we have Alois. I have a Past here is the holy mausoleum where the saints of the Church of Sarah slumber. Sorry, but only a select few members of the church are allowed entry. It's open to the public on only one day of the year for the goddess's right of rebirth. Hmm. All right, then. Well, I'll look forward to it. Along here, don't have any yeah. more items, don't see any items here, no items along the end, right. Ooh, there's some people flying up there, I never huh? noticed that before, that's cool. Ah, Lysithia. Ah, Professor, it would seem that a minor lord in Fargus is raising an army. This poses a threat, obviously, but not one for the kingdom, for the church. I mean, Fargus doesn't even have a king at present. There's something unsettling about this army. You had better ensure we're fully prepared. Will do. Along here, we have nothing. Hello there. Up this way. Don't see anything else there. Don't see anything else there. Maybe. Bulletin board, just Manuela? Yeah, Manuela and Gerald. Okay. So we're clear on this side. So I want to go to the second floor. Yeah, because we've cleared everything else. Seems about right. We'll just fast travel there to save a little bit of time crossing this bridge. Cool. Wooden flask. Flask that gives off a strong alcoholic smell when opened. You seem to recall Gerald keeping it on his person. Let's go speak to Gerald, because then we can start giving out these gifts. Ooh. Sketch of a sigil. Probably belongs to someone interested in magic and crests. Oh, I wonder who that could be. That's Manuela. Actually, yeah, we need to speak to her. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. I did hear. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? Give me your quest. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? It's extremely important that professors tend to their own studies as well. If you agree, I'd be more than happy to share my knowledge. I don't need to do that, but it's interesting. No, no, I don't want... Oh, we, we have to do it. I think. I, I think we're forced into doing it. I'm going to do faith then. We got Faith level E, and we get Faith 1. I still have much to learn. I simply must thank it's you, It's fun to professor. learn like this, even as adults. How about we get others to join up as well? I'm sure they'd be elated to participate. Hmm. I don't like losing my activity point, though. I wasn't planning on doing that this month. Uh, Gerald. Is he not in his room? He is not in his room. Okay. Well, Rhea is really? also not here. I oh, hello, Ignatz. This place has so many breathtaking works of art. I feel like I'm living in a museum. Each piece can teach us about styles and techniques from a thousand years ago. Hmm. Do you like art? Oh, yes, very much. I'm from a family of merchants, so I've been able to see a lot of art. Hmm. Cool. Uh, nothing else in here. Well, we have Rhea. Hello. Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself, meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. Okay. Sure. Everything she says sounds like it's a veiled threat, and it's not that veiled. Hey, you! Just checking. No items at either side? Nope. Okay. So, I want to go left. I don't imagine there's any items in the corridor. Ah! Wait, we haven't been alone in this room before. Hey. Hello, Gerald. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. 
It was by request of the son of that family. Uh, Christoph, I think it was. I like your quest. I have a request. Hey, it seems like I lost something. When do you have a minute? Can you help me look for it? Yep. Well, hello. Thanks for your help. That was good. Feels good, doesn't it? If you come across any more lost items, be sure to find their owner right away. Nice. We got an armored bear stuffy, a wheat sto a wet stone. We got some stuff and a wooden flask. Use the gift option to increase your support points of others by giving them things they like. A gift will also increase an ally's motivation. You may also find lost items around the monastery. Use the lo loot item option to return them to their owners and increase support points. As with gifts, an ally's motivation will also increase. This means if you know who it's for and that ally already has motivation, you should not give them the item because you want to give it to them when they're unmotivated. So, now we can go and give away all these gifts and that's going to be a task, but it's not going to be too bad. Uh, along here, hey you. let's have a look in this one. Tomas. Okay. Professor. Hello. Professor, I heard that you may battle alongside Catherine. Even among the knights, she is something special. A holy knight who is able to wield a hero's relic. Still, she can be a mite difficult. Alright, well, I mean, she can still wield a holy relic. That sounds pretty good. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. Um, And then there's nothing else along this way. So I believe we have now spoken really? to everyone. So, it's time to look at our inventory. Can I see the, the things that I've been picking up? Um, no, I can't, weirdly. Where would I see those? Like, they're not really there. They're just kind of somewhere. I'm going to save first. Oh, there might be my storehouse. Uh, so, in here we have somewhere. There we are. So, Claude, large physique is Raphael, hand-drawn map, someone who has known Geralt for a long time, probably Aloise, but could also be Leone, could also be Rhea. Tattered overcoat, someone who often finds themselves in fights. Don't know who that is. Hmm. Okay. School of Sorcery book, I believe, is Annette. And the sigil is Hanuman. Okay. So, what I want to do is, for the ones that are in my group, I want to check whether they are already motivated. Which I'll find in goals. So, Claude is motivated. Lorenz is motivated. Raphael's motivated. I see, Lorenz didn't have one, but that wasn't one. Anyway, it's fine. So, none of them. So, Hanneman, Annette seem like good ones. So, Annette is... Over, well, Hanneman's over here. I can't remember where Annette was in the... She was in a hall somewhere. Yeah. What the... But anyway... Mm. Hello. I'm sorry. That yes. Just now. Uh, and with gifts, there's no negative to giving them something that they or lost times. There's no negative to giving them something they don't care about. No negative whatsoever. So sigil. I can't believe I left this behind. Oh, thank you so much for retrieving it. Nice. Sete. I if you do assume that this isn't yours, but you know. I'm sorry to say, I have... That's fine. Thought I'd just check. I believe it's Aloise's. Annette is in... This one? There we are. In here. Took a while. So, Annette... Oh, she's at the other end. Right down here. Hello. To be honest, I thankfully... Yep. Lost gifts. Is this yours? Oh, that! I thought it was gone for good. How did you know it was mine? Because you went to the School of Sorcery. Right, uh, so neither of those. Aloise and then finds themselves in fights. I still don't know who that is. I've, I've been to the dormitory, haven't I? Yeah. Finds themselves in fights. Well... 
Now I'm just going over my head who finds themselves in fights. Um. Oh, he was down this way, wasn't he? I have a th past here. Is the Sorry. yes, yes, it's yes, yes, the yes. I would like to give you this lost item of a hand-drawn map. Hmm. Not. Hmm. Okay. So it's not his. It could be Leone. Who else have we got? No one. It could be Rhea, I suppose. I mean, I'll try Rhea. I don't think it's her, but. Seems like a good one. Also, I'm trying to think. We haven't seen. I was trying to think of people we haven't seen this month. We haven't seen Shamir and we haven't seen Cyril this month. Oh, she doesn't have lost items. Okay. Hmm, so it's not her. Manuela, no. It's not Ignatz. I think it's Leone then. Someone who's known Geralt for a long time. It seemed like that would be the right option. Someone who's getting in fights is still one I'm looking at. And Felix gets. Casper gets in fights. Casper gets in fights. Maybe. I'm not sure. I think Casper gets in fights. Go with Casper. Ah, today's yes, lost item. I have this tattered overcoat. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. Nice. Okay, so now we just have the hand-drawn map, which is I think is Leonie's. So she's already maxed out. So what I want to do, because we've got two events on this weekend, I've only got two um, activity points. I want to do the choir event, which is on. Can I have a look at the, where can you see the, oh, calendar, there we go. Nice. So the choir festival is it's just better, right? Yeah. And then the Sweet Tooth Week. We'll do Sweet Tooth Week for a special. So Lyth Lysithia really likes it. Marianne likes it. I don't know, who else do we want in here? Um, well, I don't know. Who, who do we want? If we want to try and recruit someone, we shouldn't go for Edelgard because we can't recruit her, but everyone else is fair game. It would be quite useful to have another healer, so maybe we should try for Mercedes? Yeah, maybe? We'll go with her. Sure. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. This is my absolute favorite. How did you know, Professor? Hmm. I think that's the first thing Marianne's told us about herself, actually. Well, she mentioned about anything personal that was her father's favorite. Just thought it was interesting. Nice. She's happy. Good. So, now I want to go to the cathedral. And I want to do the choir event. And then I just need to get motivation maxed out with the remaining Professor. people. So, choir. Yep. Um, intro. Loren seems good, because if this increases motivation, then that's a positive. And then... Essenet could be one. Dorothea could be one. Ferdinand as well. I don't know. Who are we thinking? Um. How about Annette? We just pushed her up a little bit more. We could go. We could double down on that. Although, actually, what we should do is we should. Doesn't matter that we just maxed her out. Marianne should do this because we want Faith to go up. Yes. Let's do it. Me, 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 me. <clears throat> Something appears to be wrong with my throat. I can't sing very loud. Okay. So that was good. Bonds grew significantly. We got faith and we got authority. Ooh. Faith is now a C. Learned physic on I think Marianne. I did it. Nice. 
So I don't want to end yet. I want to check my... Well, oh, we got supports as well. I want to save. And I want to check um, the roster. So Lorenz he doesn't give motivation. Interesting. So we need to make Lorenz more motivated. Do you remember where Lorenz is? Mm, I don't remember where Lorenz is. But I'm sure we'll find him. Um, he's not here today. Lorenz got beat. Ah, there we go. Knights Hall. We just need to make him a little bit more motivated. So where is he? Uh, wait. Oh, he's actually outside. Yeah. He was outside and then... This way? Ah, yes. He was He was over here. Now I remember where he was. Hello. It is a noble's duty. Yes. Uh, I'd like to give you a gift. Do you enjoy horseback riding? How kind of you. Okay, do you enjoy weapon maintenance? How kind of you. Nice. Okay, well, he's now maxed out. Good. Now we've done everything we can do. Save. And we should have some supports. We have many. Lorenz has some and Marianne has some. Right. Well, let's see what we have to say to Lorenz. Oh, you should try listening when they're ready to speak with you. He's not ready to speak. Marianne? Oh, okay. That's fine. Um. Oh, Lorenz has one with Marianne? Hello, Marianne. You are well, I hope. I am, Lorenz. Thank you. I cannot help but notice you do not look it. Is that so? I feel fine. Hmm. What, was there something you needed? Uh, how unseemly of me. My apologies. It is not my intention to stare. Does something about me seem... off? Oh, not at all. I was just remembering your father. Or rather, comparing my experience of him to you. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what happened with her father, because we met, she seemed to be fond of him, because she mentioned him in the uh, meal. So it was, it was his favorite food. Is he dead, maybe? Your father, Margrave Edmund. He is one of the shrewdest nobles in all the Alliance, with a noted gift for pointed speech. Not dead, then. On and beyond the battlefield, his words have the power to move friend and foe alike. My own father has said he would not want to make an enemy of him. Naturally, I am of the same mind. Hmm. Your father is blessed with gifts of confidence and eloquence. Yet compared to him, you seem always reticent and downcast. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to cause you discomfort. It's just that the contrast between you and your father is striking. I have very little in common with my adoptive father. Oh, okay. Interesting. So... Her father that she mentioned during the meal might be her biological father. That might be the separation. But he sent you to Garrick Mark. Clearly he sees potential in you. I think I see it too. Yes, a certain charm, gravitas if you will. Just like him. Hmm. Oh. I can't say that I know too much about him. I should be going now. What was up with the sparks? Y yes, y yes, of course. Please, take care. Oh, such grace, such serenity. How could such a beauty be hiding in plain sight? Oh, okay, that's where he was getting from it. With a little polish, she would shine magnificently. Okay. Interesting. So with these supports, ah, right, with these supports, I believe we can trigger them by walking up here. Yeah, I think we can walk into them. That was an intriguing one. We got learned a lot more about Marianne than we've ever known before. So, yeah. Let's head this way. <sighs> ah, it's up, it's up the top here. Hi You're curious there. to know how Marianne is. Yes, I am. Dear Goddess, I ask for guidance. <gasps> uh, 
Professor, I suppose you came by to pray too? No, I'm just passing by. I see. Well, that's why I'm here. What were you praying for? Oh, um, nothing specific. I only call upon the goddess to give thanks, or perhaps to ask for protection. Anyhow, I should be on my way. Do you have a moment to chat? Um, okay. I'm sorry. I don't really know what to say. I'm not very good at talking to people. The truth is, I didn't interact with people too often before I came here. Why is that? Oh, um, no particular reason. Uh-huh. I'm simply not very good at it. That's just how I am. Well, don't worry about it. Uh, um, thank you. I'm sorry. You shouldn't waste your time worrying about me. Please, just ignore me. I, um, have to be going now. Goodbye, Professor. Alright, there's something going on. I have no idea what it is, but there's something going on. No. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. This random NPC has told me no, there is not something going on. So, I guess there's nothing going on then. Let's head to the dormitory and speak to Lorenz. Who also thinks there's something going Professor. on. But not the same kind of something we're thinking. Alright, was it along here? Yes. Professor. Yes, I'd like to speak. Professor, I understand that you were looking to speak with me. Perhaps you would like some insight on how to write your next lecture? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me? While I do have a great many ideas, it would be inappropriate to... Oh, am I mistaken? If that's the case, then what can I do for you? It's about the female students. The ladies have complained? To you? About me? <laughs> Preposterous. <laughs> there must be some mistake. This is brilliant, at, given we just had the Marianne one. I am the heir of the noble house Gloucester. It is bred in me to treat all people with respect. Rest assured, you will not find anyone more upstanding than yours truly. Perhaps the issue is that the splendor of my noble presence is driving the ladies to distraction. Oh really? That's what you think? If that is the crime, I do confess. I hope I've not troubled the ladies' hearts unduly. It is your advances they seem to find troubling. Outrageous! That's absurd! Who would dare to allege such slander? A number of female students, actually. Of all the... Well, I suppose I have offered several of them the honor of dining with me. It is impossible to tell if even the most well-bred young lady is a suitable companion for me, merely by the sight of her. So, in order for us to get to know each other properly, it is appropriate that we dine together. Thus far, they have all declined, oddly enough. For some reason, they seem to be exercising some form of restraint when speaking with me. I just don't know why. I would never insist, of course. But I will admit I have, on occasion, after a day's pause, issued repeat invitations, in the fashion and style of a gentleman. Uh-huh. That is the problem. What? Ridiculous! Dinner invitations for me? A problem? The very idea. I am a perfect gentleman, the son of a noble line. I've a wit like a rapier, and it takes but a glance to see that I'm gorgeous. Oh, really? No, I cannot believe such a thing. Are you sure this isn't the result of some sort of scheme? It cannot be otherwise. Someone has clearly devised a conspiracy against me. Someone who envies my position, who seeks to soil my sterling reputation with foul rumors. How crude. Please, Professor, it is beneath you to fall victim to such petty and obscene tactics. I implore you to take greater care in the future. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a great deal of work to do. Farewell. Oh, all right. See ya. 
Well, that's gonna be a problem. Anyway, I think that is a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.